You've set up the emulator, you have your ROMs, and you've also seen how to configure controls using the command line interface. The default configuration of Supermodel for Xbox controllers when it comes to racing games is not very intuitive, so we're going to modify it to be closer to modern racers if you don't have a steering wheel. Here's what we're going to do. Your left steer and your right steer will be the left stick. Your acceleration and brake will be the right trigger and the left trigger. Gear shift up is the right bumper and gear shift down is the left bumper. So it goes one gear up or one gear down. Shift gear one to four is mapped to the D-pad and the right stick. So that's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. The neutral gear is pressing the R3 button. This way, both your thumbs and index fingers can remain on the thumbsticks and the trigger buttons all at the same time. View is to modify the POV of the driver, so that's view 1, 2, 3, and 4. To map these buttons, you need to go to the Supermodel INI. That way, you don't have to modify it through the command line interface. So you want to go where your emulator is. Go to config and open Supermodel INI. Let's bring that across. Yours can look different if you already modified it in the command line interface, but generally the content is the same. So what you want to do is look for these and change their corresponding value. So there it is, and you just want to copy paste the values here, which I already did, and I'll leave this in the description below. So let's try some games. Back in LaunchBox, let's play Sega Rally 2. Enter the test menu. By default, that's 6 on your keyboard. 5 is for select, and that is the service button. So let's go to coin assignments first. Select coin credit setting and let's set that to 27. So that makes the game free play. Select and exit. Next we want to go to game assignments. So there's nothing much to change here. Personally, I want the view from behind and miles per hour. Cabinet type, we can set this to twin and exit. For the input test, we can go to this menu and this is where we can test those configurations we did earlier. So the steering wheel, which is your left stick, it's working. The right trigger for the pedal, left trigger for the brake. Start is still the start button. View change is A. Handbrake is B. Gear position, so that's the right stick. So that's up, down, left, and right. And everything works as it should. So we can exit this menu. We press 5 and 6 at the same time. And exit once more. Here we need to escape to restart the game. So now I'm using the left stick.
so that's the right trigger to accelerate and then we can raise our transmission to 4 so there you go that's the right stick that's it that's all I wanted to show thanks for watching